Hello everybody, I'm Jorge Moye Gueras and I'm the principal researcher of our research team in the University of Lleida, Spain called Neuropsychology, Genes and Environment. Uh, from my research team we are uh, working in the present project Veronica Estrada Plana, Jaume Marc Janes and me myself and we have joined forces with Nuria Goodman San Jaume from uh, Almeria, Sara Arias Mateo from Madrid, and Carlos and Juanes from also from Lleida. And they three are working uh, every day with children at risk of social exclusion. And we want to, to know if we can uh, improve executive functioning in these uh, in these children using modern board and card games this is the project that I'm going to present you right now and is the project that have been awarded by the gaming lab so just let's begin uh, I'm going to introduce right now uh, what are the executive functions. These are cognitive processes that allow, uh, allow us just to think about the objective, the goal we want in, in any moment or in our life. And uh, executive functions also allow us just to think about what behaviors, what, what behaviors we must do and in which order, just to plan the, the, the steps that we must perform and also activate their behavior and control their behavior in order to achieve uh, the goal that we, we, we propose. Uh, nowadays, there is a very um, basic classification of what are uh, the executive functions, dividing them into the complex ones and the basic ones. The present project has been focused on the basic executive functions. These are inhibition, shifting and updating. Inhibition is the um, cognitive skill that allows us just to uh, refrain an automatic response in order to focus on a more controlled uh, response. Or, or okay, so for example, what, when we uh, must to must refrain just from eating a cookie, we are starving and we we we, we need um, a lot. Uh, something to it and we must refrain the our automatic response just to mm, mm, eat a biscuit in order just to to focus in a in a better uh, food like an orange like a fruit so it's very important for for our lives shifting or cognitive flexibility is the is the cognitive skill that allow us just to uh, understand that the um, situation have changed have changed and um, cognitive flexibility allow us, allows us just to adapt our response to this change, okay? Um, life is changing and we must adapt our, our responses uh, from that. For example, um, you, you, you were thinking about uh, cooking something for dinner and you have not all the things that you need just to, to cook that, that, that dish and you must change your mind um, sometimes uh, very quickly and just to think uh, about another option. So this is a relatively good example of, of, of the usage of, of cognitive flexibility. And then updating, that is the uh, capacity of the working memory to uh, forget the, the, stimulo, the stimuli that is not um, useful in, in any sense in our memory and replace this, uh, this unuseful stimuli to something new that is useful. So it's for example when uh, we must memorize a telephone man number and we have uh, no choice just to write it down and uh, the, the person that, ha uh, that is mm, talking uh, with us uh, has any mistake with any number and we have replace we have to replace the wrong number for uh, another new one okay um beyond this this um, relatively um daily live examples innovation shifting and updating are uh, very important for educative purposes for example in mathematics and also in linguistics, uh, when we mm, have to perform any uh, educative activity, uh, these basic executive functions uh, must be 
always executing properly in order to 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 perform uh, adequately uh, any 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 problem that we have to solve okay so it's very important for our our lives and also for educative purposes and that's why it is very uh, important just to know if we can improve these executing functions that are something um, that is common for a lot of things in our life, you know. Uh, we have um, several studies, studies that uh, show us that in poverty and, um, and being uh, at risk of social exclusion uh, can, um, can hamper the uh, correct development of uh, the right development of executing functions in, in childhood. Okay, uh, and it, it could be explained um, for a lot of reasons, but one reason that uh, the um, different studies have pointed is that um, low income uh, children may have uh, lower enrichment opportunities. Okay, they uh, don't play with uh, the same uh, things that people with medium or high uh, social status uh, can play and this, this fact doesn't allow these uh, children just to um, develop properly. So maybe uh, how they spend their time and uh, the things that, we, that they can, can play, it should be important just to, to, to develop themselves uh, in the right way. Okay, so poverty and, and being in risk or at risk of social exclusion uh, hamper, as we have said, uh, the, the, the right development of the executive functions. Um, and now it is possible to train our, our brain. Uh, can we improve our executive functions or other cognitive processes just um, doing anything so uh, the present research uh, the answer that we have with the present research is that yes we can improve our cognitive skills but uh, is not magic you know um, we it's it's we can improve them in a very limited limited way and just it, it is usually uh, found uh, significant near transfer effects uh, and it's very um, difficult just to find far transfer effects. Near transfer effect is when you train a cognitive skill and you assess the same cognitive skill. If you have trained the, the same cognitive skill that you uh, have uh, assessed, uh, it is usually found significant effects, okay? But uh, the, transfer, the, the far transfer effect is when you train a cognitive skill and you look for an improvement in a untrained, in a non-trained cognitive skill, okay? So, um, for example, we want to train working memory, innovation or, 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 or shifting uh, with games, and we uh, assess if we have improved their uh, working memory skill. If we have played with working memory games, uh, trying to improve working memory skills, we are we are going to look for uh, near transfer effects, and some um, studies have pointed that it could be it could be done. But uh, if we play with uh, working memory games and we look for um, improvements in inhibition or in complex uh, executing functions, the results are mixed. And, and, and it, they are not conclusive. It's very difficult just to find this, this, this uh, transfer effect. But we, we, we want to, to, to look for it, to, to, to test it. Um, there are very few studies performed uh, just to, to look for the, the effects of uh, playing with modern uh, board and card games. Um, nowadays, um, we have only found two uh, rigorous studies. One is the is the one that I present you right now, uh, developed by Benthink. They uh, used modern board games in classroom with the teachers uh, performing the intervention in primary school children. They found that uh, 
compare, comparing with the control group that mm, did mm, nothing specially, uh, children that played with uh, modern board and card games improved their updating and shifting mm, capacity. Uh, the other study, uh, it, it was a study performed by, by our research team, published recently, uh, where we look for the effects of uh, board games, uh, modern board games, in children with ADHD. Uh, we, have, uh, we had uh, an experimental group uh, where they uh, played with uh, modern board and card games and a control group that mm, mm, did not play uh, with any, any kind of game. They continue, continued with their uh, usual treatment. Uh, the children that play board games improve their short-term uh, memory uh, capacity in 15% and the most surprising is that we found a far transfer effect not in, a cogn in cognitive skills but in symptomatology. Uh, the children that play uh, with, uh, with modern board and card games decrease their conduct problems linked associated with uh, the ADHD in comparison with uh, the control group that uh, increased their uh, conduct problems um, arriving to a clinical significant uh, level. So maybe um, playing modern board games uh, that don't only are um, useful for cognitive uh, purposes but also for uh, affecting other, other psychological outcomes such as mm, specific behaviors or symptomatology. And as uh, in um, children at risk of social exclusion is common to find these kind of problems, it should be useful for them especially just to use uh, this kind of methodology. And that's why the main objective of our study is uh, just to um, test if uh, executing functions could be enhanced in children at risk of social exclusion using uh, modern board and card games. Uh, we are going to, to develop a multi-center study in Lleida, Madrid and Almería with our partners that I have uh, presented before. Uh, our calculations estimated that only 11 participants per group should be enough, but we want just to perform uh, the better um, research that, that we could and we want just to to assess 40 children per association, 20 per group, with different inclusion and exclusion criteria that you can see in the in the slide briefly. The, they are the, the, the common uh, criteria in, in this kind of, of research. We want to, to test, uh, to assess, um, sorry, different outcomes. The main outcomes, the, 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 cogni the, the executing function outcomes, are going to be um, assessed by two different uh, type of instruments, performance test and behavioral executing this function test. Okay? The performance test uh, are th that ones that um, allow us to uh, assess properly the executing function by uh, using uh, laptop or computer programs uh, where uh, the children must um, show us their um, cognitive skills in any moment. We are going just to use a keep track test for updating, five digits test uh, for assessing cognitive inhibition and, and shifting, and a go-no-go -no -go task for uh, motor in, in inhibition. We want also, uh, also to, to assess the um, consequences that uh, the um, executive dysfunctioning, executing these functions is when executing functions doesn't run properly, if you want to, to understand it. Uh, and this test, the Atento, is like the brief that is a well-known uh, test that um, uh, allows us to assess um, the, the executing functioning in everyday life. They are items, uh, questions that parents and, and also children uh, can, can answer just to, 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 to ask them how the executing functions, uh, how they apply the executing functions in their everyday life. 
We want also to, to assess different confounding factors such as age, sex, the academic course, uh, socioeconomic sta status and fluid intelligence because they are significant uh, in, in this kind of, of studies of cognitive interventions and we also want to, to assess if we can find far transfer effects uh, to academic achievement uh, in order just to, to, to find if, if or to test if uh, children that play modern board and card games can improve their academic achievement compared to, to the other ones. We are going to, to split the, the sample into two different groups. We are going to assign the, the participants to these groups randomly uh, into an experimental group when, uh, where they are going to, to play with uh, high executing functioning uh, content games such as Jungle Speed Safari, Ghost Blitz, Be Alert and Le Roi Sommeil and a control group that are going also uh, to, to play uh, with games but with low executing functioning content such as Dixit, Mizmo, Wasabi and mm. The, the, the games uh, have been selected by uh, different experts that have been that have analyzed these games and have uh, classified them into into these to these categories. The statistical analysis are going to, to be performed with uh, analysis of, of variants or covariants because we want to control for confounding variables, as I have mentioned before, or maybe we are going to use also multi-level analysis. It depends on the, on the, the better uh, analysis that, that we can do. And we are going also to uh, perform FXI calculations following the standard uh, guidelines that are usually used in this kind of, of studies and then thank you for your attention your uh, questions will be welcome and I will try to, to answer all of them thank you so much